Once diagnosed with a STEMI, the goal is to get the patient from hospital door to cath lab as quickly as possible. STEMI, you know, Code Simi is a really valuable collaborative housewide response to somebody that comes in with an identified heart you know, heart attack. And so, you know, we've been successful quarter after quarter in getting patients with, uh, you know, under, under 90 minutes from the time that they arrive into our facility to the time that their vessel has basically been open, and which, is the, which is the standard set by American Heart Association. And I would argue that most of the time, you know, we're somewhere closer to the, to the 60 minutes. In fact, since the program's inception at Salinas Valley Memorial, the average time has shrunk to 57 minutes. By comparison, patients who don't arrive by ambulance by calling 911 average 88 minutes. I like the STEMI program because uh, ambulance can do EKGs in the rig now. They can call us on the EMS line. They'll let us know that they have an ST elevation and we can have the cath lab team here, the cardiologist here, so we can get them from the door to um, cath lab, we can get them in 15 minutes. And sometimes when they get into the cath lab, they identify a problem that they can't fix, in which case it becomes a surgical emergency. We're always on backup for the STEMI team. We've always got Stanford surgeons on call all the time, 24-7, uh, 365. Of the 83 STEMI patients tracked in Monterey County in the first five months of the program, 55 of them activated the STEMI system of care by calling 911 and getting to the hospital in an ambulance. That's more than 66% of STEMI patients and a significantly higher activation rate than most counties in their first year of the program. The, the, the catchphrase is really time is muscle, and so the quicker that we can open that vessel in the cath lab, this is really where we, where we need to, you know, have the patient go as quickly as possible.